in the golden heart of the Abbasid Caliphate, where scholars gathered beneath the shadow of Baghdad's grand libraries, a young man named Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi began his journey. Born around the year 780 in the region of Khwarezmna, Uzbekistan, he was destined to reshape human understanding of numbers. The city's air was thick with curiosity, trade, and the scent of parchment ink. Knowledge was a treasure, and Al-Khwarizmi sought it with unyielding devotion. Under the patronage of Caliph Ulman, Al-Khwarizmi joined the legendary Beit, Al-Hikmo, the House of Wisdom. It was a sanctuary of learning where Greek, Persian, and Indian texts were translated into Arabic, and new ideas blossomed. Amidst astronomers, philosophers, and mathematicians, he stood out for his systematic approach to solving problems. He didn't just compute, he organized logic. It was here that he began writing his most influential work, Kitab al-Jabru wal-Mukabala. From his manuscript came a revolution. The word al meaning reunion of broken parts, gave birth to the modern term algebra. Al-Khwarizmi's method allowed equations to be balanced and solved not through guessing, but through logic. He introduced concepts of linear and quadratic equations, paving the path for centuries of scientific progress. His clear explanations transformed mathematics from mystery into method. Al-Khwarizmi also revolutionized numbers. He introduced the Hindu-Arabic numeral system to the Islamic world, a concept that would later reach Europe and replace cumbersome Roman numerals. His works on astronomy and geography mapped the known world with precision, never before seen. In his hands, mathematics became a language of the cosmos, not merely of trade. Centuries later, his name endured in an unexpected form, algorithm, derived from al -Kharizmi. Every computer, every equation, every coded instruction carries a whisper of his genius. Though he lived over a thousand years ago, his logic shapes our digital world today. The man who once wrote, with ink and parchment, unknowingly became the architect of computation itself.